Happy Halloween Buzzards! I'm Snow Walter White and you're watching Toon Buzz on Channel Frederator. Today we're talking about Mr. Peabody and Sherman, Yes Ma'am, and Toy Story of Terror. Back in July, DreamWorks acquired Classic Media, who owns a ton of old-school cartoon characters such as Casper the Friendly Ghost and George of the Jungle. Among these intellectual properties is Rocky and Bullwinkle, where the characters Mr. Peabody and Sherman originate from. In May of next year, DreamWorks will release a CGI reboot of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Mr. Peabody is a talking dog and the smartest being in the world. When his adopted boy Sherman misuses their time-traveling Wayback Machine, it's up to them to put things back on track before the space-time continuum is irreparably destroyed. Personally, I think the concept of time travel is a little outdated, but the trailer seems pretty fun, and I'm curious to see how DreamWorks will take these classic characters and make them relevant to our generation. What would happen if their time-traveling escapades accidentally prevented Twitter from ever being created? Then Yes Ma'am would never exist. Yes Ma'am is a six-part animated web series based off of the parody Twitter account for Queen Elizabeth II. It will debut on November 15th on the Yahoo! UK comedy website and will be written by the same anonymous creator of the Twitter account. It satirizes the royal family as well as top politicians in the UK. New episodes will be uploaded every Friday at 5 p.m. or gin o'clock. The Queen and Kate Middleton will be voiced by Kate Robbins while Prince Harry and Prince William will be voiced by Lewis McLeod. Join Her Majesty's existing 1.1 million followers at twitter.com slash queen underscore UK. On October 16th, Pixar debuted their first ever TV special, Toy Story of Terror. Join Jesse, Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang as they spend the night in a motel where things get weird. It was really fun to see all the toys back together again, especially Mr. Picklepants, the adorable porcupine thespian who basically explained everything that was happening along the way. There were also some hilarious new characters, like Combat Carl, voiced by Carl Weathers. It definitely wasn't super scary, but it was pretty suspenseful, and I will admit that I did scream no a few times. But it wouldn't be a Halloween special if everyone made intelligent decisions. In true Pixar fashion, there are a few Easter eggs hidden throughout this mini-movie. See if you can spot the iconic Pizza Planet truck and the blue umbrella. If you hadn't had a chance to catch the special yet, the Disney Channel will be airing it on November 27th, at 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to read more about these stories, the links are in the description below. What's your favorite animated Halloween movie or TV special? Tell us in the comments. My favorite animated Halloween movie definitely has to be Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it was like one of the first stop motion films I ever saw as a kid, and it's one of the films that really made me interested in animation because I just thought it was so fascinating that like these little puppets were moving and like how do they do that and you know the, it was like this weird mix between funny and scary and charming and it's, just, it's a great classic. 